Alibaba Cloud has just released Quent 2.5 and they are calling it a party of foundation models. Why? Because they think this might be the largest open source release in the history. If you look at the models that they are releasing, so they're releasing a standard LLM model, which they called Quen 2.5 LLM. And they're also releasing a bunch of models for Quen 2.5 Math. And there are also a bunch of models which are Quen 2.5 Coder, specialist in coding task. Let's look into each of the specialist models in the later part of the video. But right now, let's look into what the LLM models have got to offer. Along with these bunch of LLMs, they're also releasing flagship language models, Quen Plus and Quen Turbo for the API access. And obviously they've got separate pages for each of the bunch of models. What we have to note here is that except for the 3 billion parameter model and 72 billion parameter model, everything else is licensed under the Apache 2.0. So what are the key takeaways of the Quen 2.5 model? It's a 18 trillion tokens model. So compared to Quen 2, they're saying that this model acquired significantly more knowledge. If you look at the MMLU, it's more than 85 now, and it has greatly improved capability in coding because in human eval, it's now 85 plus, and also in mathematics. Additionally, the model is able to generate long text, which was not quite possible with Quen 2. It's also able to understand structured data quite well, which is, for example, tables. And it's also able to generate structured output, specifically JSON, which is quite important if you're going to access through APIs. And Quen 2.5 model are generally resilient to the diversity of system prompts enhancing role play implementation and conditional setting for chatbots. So they are saying that the specialized coder model and the math models have undergone significant enhancement. For example, coder model has been trained on 5.5 trillion tokens now. Training with so many tokens has enabled even the smallest of the trained models to deliver competitive performance against large language models on coding evaluation benchmarks. We will look into how the small models are getting closer to the large language models models when we look into the coding model. And when it comes to the Quen 2.5 math model, they're saying that they're both in Chinese and English, which is understandable. But on top of chain of thought, it also now includes program of thought and tool integrated reasoning, which is a nice addition when it comes to reasoning tasks like mathematics. So this is the summary table of the different models that they are releasing. We can see that there are 0.5 billion parameter model or going all the way to 72 billion. We can see that the context length gradually increases as the number of parameter increases and the generation length is uh, kept at 8k but when we switch to the coder model or the math model the generation length is just 2k which i feel is quite sufficient when it comes to the specialist models and also the context length is less when it comes to a math model which is again understandable which is a specialist model with that summary let's look into the performance of the Quen 2.5 model. So this is the table that summarizes the performance of Quen 2.5 72 billion instruction tuned model against the Quen 2 72 billion instruction tuned model and also the Mistral large model and Llama 3.1 70 billion parameter model and even the 405 billion parameter instruction tuned model. We can see that this clearly Quen 2.5 now leads in most of the common benchmarks that we are using to kind of compare the state-of-the-art models. So the models without instruction fine-tuning are compared in this table and what they are trying to highlight is that the 72 billion parameter model is able to perform as good as the if not better than the 405 billion parameter model indicating that the Quen 72 billion parameter model reaches top tier performance even against large models like the Llama 405 billion parameter models. Now this table is quite interesting. It highlights the performance of the models with time and it shows those models with the MMLU score of more than 65 are shown as blue dots and those models with the performance less than 65 are shown with the gray dots and it shows the evolution of models uh, with time and we can see that Quen with just 
3 billion parameter model is now able to perform on par or if not better than the uh, previous models which are LAMA 8 billion parameters for example or the Quen 1.5 at 14 billion parameters. So it all indicates the evolution towards the small language models now which are catching up with the larger counterparts. So this is quite interesting and we are moving backwards from a large model towards a small model but matching the performance when it comes to the evaluation metrics. For Quen 2.5, they've got a separate GitHub repository and they've got links to the Hugging Face model page and the Hugging Face demo page. They've got link to the paper and also the documentation. On top of that, they've got a few examples which we can use to understand how we can actually go about using the model. So we will have to resort to using the Transformers uh, library from Hugging Face and as a standard practice how we to invoke the auto model for causal lm and auto tokenizer in order to initiate the model and we'll have to use it for inference to understand what i mean let's quickly have a look and how we can go about using the model so we'll have to import the auto model for causal llm and auto tokenizer from the transformer library and the model name is Quen 2.5 7 billion instruct and we create the model and we create the tokenizer and we create a list of messages which is the role content and the prompt so we and we create the message with the uh, system prompt and the user prompt for the system prompt you say you are Quen created by Alibaba cloud you're a helpful assistant and for the prompt you can give anything of course uh, as a user to the tokenizer we invoke the apply chat template and pass the message that we just created and we then get the model inputs using the text that we have created and finally we invoke generate by passing all the model inputs and we get the generated output of course on top of hugging face Quen 2.5 is also available with VLLM. So VLLM is a high throughput memory efficient inference and serving engine for LLMs. It's basically how we can serve your LLMs in a super efficient way. All you have to do is python-m vllm.entrypoints.openai API server and then provide the model Quen 2.5 7 billion instruct. Once you pass the Quen 2.5 as a parameter, then you should be able to run it with VLM serve and the model should be available readily in a curl command so you can directly just curl it and then pass your message and then get a response from it and they're saying that can also be used the same way as we use GPT tool calling and it also integrates with Olama and so you can use Olama tool calling by Olama tool calling what they are meaning is that you know if you have installed Olama then you can import Olama and then you can do olama.chat and you can pass the model instead of llama 3.1 here you can pass the quen 2.5 model as the parameter and you can pass all your messages in the tools and you can finally get a response similar to how you can do with the llama 3 model so that's pretty much what i wanted to say about the quen 2.5 model it's super interesting and i can't wait to get my hands dirty playing around with the model and would you like me to come up with a review of the model please let me know in the comments and until then i'm signing off and i will see you in my next video about the quen 2.5 math model and also the quen 2.5 coder model which are the sort of specialist models in or the derived models from the quen 2.5 llm so until then i'm signing off and i will see you in my next take care